Darren Koistra spends hours a day in his vehicle. It's his office, the place where he keeps thousands of dollars worth of equipment. So when someone broke inside... You can't describe it, just a sick feeling in your stomach. His laptop, GPS system, and digital camera all swiped. And he knew there was little police could do. Police are bogged down. They've got lots of work to do. And, I mean, a laptop in the grand scheme, let's face it, it's not a big thing. But it was a big deal for Koistra. So he went online to do some sleuthing of his own. That's when he stumbled upon this. Just Stolen, an online tool to help you track down your stolen goods. The idea is really quite simple. You log into the website and type in the serial numbers of your stolen items. That information goes into a database. Now when police recover stolen items, they can log on. And if they find a match, you get an email. Basically, our, our goal here is to reunite the... Uh the owner with their property. Tom Shea is a patrol officer near Boston. He started the site a year ago. So far, 40,000 victims have registered personal items, 10,000 of them from Canada, creating a North American database of stolen goods. We do suspect that quite a bit of property that that is stolen here in the U.S. ends up in Canada and vice versa. You know, a lot of stuff that's stolen in Canada probably ends up here in the United States because it's just that much harder to trace it back. And even though RCMP have their own database that's been used for decades, it admits just stolen has some merit, especially for travelers. You never know. You might get in, uh, a reply someday, we found your camera. Koistra is still waiting for that call, but he hasn't given up hope that somehow, someday, his items will return. Now that is very cool. Mike joins us now. This is a, there's, that's an American website, but there's also a Canadian one. Yeah, it's called CPIC, and it's actually been around for three decades. Mm -hmm. uh, and very similar concept, you register your items online. Uh, you can actually browse through stolen items as well. If you've had your iPod stolen, you yeah. can go online and see if it's there. 185,000 stolen vehicles are there to browse through. 485,000 miscellaneous items as well. Wow, that's incredible. And it takes it a step further, you can register people. You can register people? I know, it sounds weird, but it makes sense. It's called the Wanderer's List. Oh. And if you have a family member who maybe has Alzheimer's and they're known to wander out of the house, you can register them online. And if the RCMP or police come across them, they can type their name into the system and they can uh, give you a call. That sounds amazing. Yeah. What about little kids? Because little kids are so net savvy this day, these days. Are they getting on top of this too? They are. Actually, the creator of the American website, JustStolen.net, said they had a 12-year-old in 12 -year -old. Texas register their iPod. Amazing. Isn't that great? Just 12. Yeah, they're be, you know, taking responsibility for their, uh, their personal items at a really young age, and the web's really opened up a whole new world for them. No kidding. That's amazing.